Hey gorgeous, welcome to my channel Soil and Margarita. Today's video is a little bit different and very special to me. Quite a few times during the year I have found myself wanting to take nicer pictures of my seedlings or my plants or even floral arrangements that I make throughout the summer when I have all of my flowers blooming and I have trouble just finding a good spot where to start. So today I'm going to show you how it easy it is to put something together by just using a window and a table and some things that you can find local at your hardware store. We're going to start by using a few things that I am familiar with in photography, like this roll of paper. This is a savage paper roll and it's literally all it is, it's paper in a roll. And the color that I'm going to be using today is called Bone. It is a very nice off-white color. You can compare it to the table, the table is completely white. But I love this paper. I am very familiar with how it is built and I just love it. I'm going to talk to you about the sizes here in a minute, but also this arm stand or extension arm, however you want to call it, is kind of intriguing. And if you're not familiar with these things, don't worry. This piece you can find it on Amazon. It's one piece and it's going to make a lot of sense when we put things together. This thing right here, I found it at the plumbing section at Home Depot. It's a half an inch pipe. It is galvanized just in case I have to deal with water and I don't have to worry about that. And this is just a clamp that we're going to use to attach that pipe to the table. Again, things are going to make a lot more sense once we build this thing. And if you're very intimidated about what you see here, do not worry. It is very, very easy to put together. The things here, like I say, like the pipe, the clamp, and even the paper, if you have a local store, can be easily find locally. But if not, I'm going to add links to everything below in this video in case you want to try it. We're going to start by adding this pipe, this half an inch pipe to the table. Make sure not to over tight things. Anything that you do here with photography, do not overdo it. We just want to make sure this thing is somewhat balanced, that it's not leaning to one side or the other. The first time that you use this extendable arm, this extension arm, it's probably going to feel a little bit awkward, but don't worry. Start by loosening out the top so that you can sort of open both of the sides where the pipe, where the half an inch pipe is going to go through. Take your time, do not overthink it. Basically what we want to do is, is we want to lose the two spaces from one to the other. And once you figure out that we have enough space to fit the half an inch clamp, then you're just going to have to try it and do your best here. If you see this little uh, metal piece sticking out, that is going to match the hole at the very bottom on the other side. So as long as those, those two things match, then you are doing it okay. Find the opening for your half an inch clamp and once you have it nice and fit and the little piece at the bottom is uh, matching the other side with the hole, then you're good to go. Do not tighten this too much at this point. We're going to have to move the arm where we want it to be. So right now it's just about attaching this to the pipe and once we have it nice and somewhat secure, then we're going to start to move that extension arm to where we need it to be. Be careful with your surroundings because it has happened to me where I just kind of trip everything on my way. We're going to make this extension arm where we kind of have it level to the table that we're using. If you want to use a level, that's fine. If not, just do your best at kind of figuring out that it works. This works for me. Again, I have been doing this for a while, so I'm just kind of used to it. Make sure that before you attach your paper or the background that you're going to be using that everything is nice and secure. If you need to tighten things a little bit more, do it. But again, if this is the first time that you're trying one of these things, it might be a little bit overwhelming. Do not worry. Very easy. And once you do it a few times, you'll be good to go. This paper, it is normally... 53 inches long. I do not have the space on my table to have something that is 53 inches nor I need that much space. So I had my husband cut this to the size that I needed it which is about 36 inches and this works for me. We're going to start with the paper and we're going to just attach it to the extension arm and so far things are looking good but I'm going to show you something here that I did by mistake and I'm glad that I did it so that I can show you so that you don't have to do it yourself. As I am unrolling the paper here, the paper is just going to have to be bent in order to be flattened with the table, if that makes sense. So you definitely don't want to position your paper this way. 
if it's not facing the right way. It is a very easy thing to fix as long as you don't have everything set up yet. And you basically just flip it and make sure that the opening of the paper just lines up with the table nicely. Again, as you do these things, you're just gonna have to figure out some things are easier to do and to work with, but this paper is very, very easy and work gently with it. You definitely don't wanna push it too much. These clamps have saved my life many, many times when it comes to taking pictures or even just doing things here in my grow room. You can find them at Home Depot. They are not really hard to find, but if you cannot find them locally, I am going to leave links for those below. And very gently, just make sure that the, the paper that doesn't have any wrinkles on each side. And this is basically the setup that I am using here today. Because I am working with natural light, I wanna make sure that I have all the artificial lights turned off. I am moving my table where I think that I'm going to need it. I am closing windows on the back or on the side, whichever I don't want light, I just make sure that I have everything set up before I start. And again, if you're not a photographer, if you're just using your phone, just do the best with the position of the window light that you have. I normally don't want it straight in front of my subject that I'm photographing, but I just want it a little bit on the side. Think about a 45 degree angle will be the best for the pictures that you're taking. If you notice here, this extension arm is really not too tall and that could become a problem for me if I am taking pictures of, of a seedling or of a house plant that is really, really tall. But this is something very, very easy to fix. And this is why I chose this setup to begin with because I can easily adjust it as I need it. To adjust the height, I just need to take the clamps off, making sure that my paper is not going to get wrinkled, that it's not going to get damaged. That is really the biggest concern that I have here. And once you have those things off, you can easily loosen up the extension arm and move it up or down as you need it. With our days being in the freezing temperatures outside, there is no way that I wanna go out there and take pictures of things. So, so having this set up indoors allows me to just get creative in taking pictures of my seedlings, of my house plants, or if you are an artist that has products, that sells things on Etsy or whatever it is that you sell, if you wanna set up for taking pictures or nicer pictures indoors, I think that this will work great. Again, the biggest thing here is just working with the paper in a gentle manner. Once you have the setup here completed and once you're working with the actual paper or whatever background that you're using, make sure to be gentle to not wrinkle things, to not get them dirty. And even though I am using paper here to be my backdrop, you can easily use fabric or wood or some sort of material that you want as your backdrop. The possibilities are really endless when it comes to taking pictures indoors of products. Having this table on wheels really is a big, big plus for me because I cannot only just move it out of the way if I need it, but when it comes to taking pictures, I can move it easily towards the light or away from the light, whatever I need to. One of the things I love about using the Savage papers or the Savage rolls is the cleaning up. Over here, I have my plants kind of dripping with water. That's not the best time for me to be taking pictures of these plants right now, but it is what it is. So I can easily just move the paper rolls where I need it and I can easily just cut that piece later on whenever I am done with this mini photo shoot, honestly. 
taking this thing apart and putting it away is also very very easy because I can literally just put all of this underneath my bed and these things come off really really easy I don't even have to think about what I'm doing most of the time but again if this is your first time putting something like this for your seedlings or your house plants or whatever it is that you want to take pictures of just take your time and looking at every single piece that you have here making sure that you don't tighten things too much to the point of breaking let me know if this video was helpful for you i would love to get your thoughts on these kind of videos in this channel i love to combine my love for photography and plants and i think that this video was just the perfect to start this kind of series thank you for being here you guys and until the next time 